Hello. Happy Wednesday. How are you? My name is Lisa DeVosta. I'm here. Plymouth Cards. Welcome. i just coming in for my usual, just get myself all together here with my aprons and mess. My usual Wednesday check-in. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's been a little hectic here today. Um, uh, yeah, the last day or two have been a little crazy, just getting everything organized. Um, I did want to talk to you something about a little untraditional this right to start. Um, I just, um, as you probably know, because I've posted about it before, my mom is a breast cancer survivor. So um, today I went for my annual mammogram. So I just wanted to mention that I think it's so important that you go and get it. It's not the most exciting thing to do for sure, but it's so important to do. And with my family history, my mom, my mom's sister, so my aunt, and my mom's first cousin, as well as my mom's grandmother, have all had breast cancer. So, um, so it's just really important. So I know we have the Clarence that with the pink mask, and I donate one dollar from every Clarence with the pink mask to breast cancer organizations. So last year, 2020, we donated um, a total. What was the number again? Twenty-five. I'm trying to think, I'm sorry, $1,500 I donated last year to um, breast cancer organizations. So I think that's really great. And it's just so important. I don't mean to get on a soapbox or anything about this, but I just feel like, well, it was a whirlwind going to do that, but um, it's so important to do. And I know, especially with COVID, it's, it's hard because you just want to put things off and you don't want to even go like, why would you want to go to the doctor's office? That's where all the germs are. So, um, but I went and I did it and um, I hope you do too. So anyway, today I have some great things. I have the new, the rest of the graduation ornaments are here. So I'm really excited about that. And so um, I wanted to just show you all the different ones. Let's see. So I know last week I showed a few and I'm gonna just show them again probably at the end just because it's always good to see them one more time. So I wanted to start, here's our orange and with a black ribbon. So the cool thing is, is that you can have them be um, part of your your school, you know, match your, your graduate school. So I um, just wanted to show you all the new colors. So orange and black. So this um, Oklahoma State, my brother-in-law, Alan. Alan went there as well as his mom and his sister. And um, so, and oh, what was I gonna say? So he, Alan is the one who makes the ornaments for me he, up in Massachusetts. So um, orange with the black ribbon. Um, you can get any one of the five colored ribbons. You don't have to just do orange and black. So if your ch um, student's school is orange and white, we have that as an option. So we now have black, red, okay, okay roll tide. I have to say that when I show the crimson, that's where my son Luke went. And so we always do something crimson in honor of that. So um, with the white, but we have black, white, gold, red, and purple. We added purple. Um, I found made in the USA purple ribbon, so I was really excited about that. And if anyone ever knows a place, I have combed the internet, but if you can find a vendor that sells green satin ribbon, it's an eighth of an inch thick, I would love to know because I would love to have green ribbon as an option, but I just haven't been able to find it. And I'm really, I feel strongly about making sure that it's made in the US like all our other ribbons. So um, purple with gold, so I thought that's kind of like LSU. And I only know all these football teams because I have boys and a husband that watch all these colleges and such. So I, I, I learned by looking at their colors, not by what the team actually does mostly. Um, so, and then here's the green, green and white. Green and white is, um, um, let me think, Michigan State, or my kids went to um, Duxbury High School and that's their colors. So there's that. And then let's see, I have red. Red and black is, what did I write down? Oh, Georgia and Ohio State. Those are the two. But, you know, big red, they look great with any of the um, colors. Yellow, I, I was a little stuck on, but um, Tennessee Tech. And that's yellow with a purple ribbon. But again, you can swap them out however you want. So if your child's school is yellow with red, then I can do that for you. So that would be awesome. And let's see. Okay, I know I showed these last week, but I just wanted to show you again the white and the black. Black and the white. And then... 
the blue and the gold. So we have all nine colors are now in stock, which is so exciting. And um, you can buy them right on the website. I will pop a link after this live. I will post the link in the notes so that you can see um, where to where it goes. But I wanted to mention that right now the ornaments are $10, but on Monday they're going up to $10.99. I'm not trying to pressure you, but I just want you to know in advance that the price will be going up to $10.99. So um, we're just doing an introductory special price of $10. And so, and then um, on Monday, the 15th, they will go up to the $10.99. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. I'm, again, not trying to pressure you, just don't want you to be surprised if you wait. Um, hi, Cindy, thanks so much for being here. Happy Wednesday to you too. Um, yeah, so that's all the um, grad ornaments are in those nine different colors. They're all on the website. And um, I made it a little bit easier this time. I know with Clarence, we did each mask separately and that was only because well, that was a whole different story. We added colors as we went. We It wasn't just all decided at the beginning, so that was just a... But this time we decided on the nine colors for the graduation caps all before we um, put it on the website. So they're all in one listing. So uh, listing or product page, whatever. I'm not sure how what you want to call it, but that's what I call it. And so in there you can toggle and decide. Um, there's pull down menu, so you can pick the cap color, then you can pick the ribbon color, and then you can decide if you want it to have a gift box or not. So those are the three things when you do it. But again, price does go up on Monday. Um, I'm excited because our, um, do you, if you don't get our emails, um, I will also pop a link so that you can sign up to get them. So today I announced the February collection. So what we do is, um, we started it in January, so it's our second month, but we're doing um, monthly collections that are specific to that month and they'll only be available for that month. So if you want it, that's the best time to get it. The great thing about the collections is they're a slightly less price or uh, discounted price, so off the regular individual card price. So we pair them in 24s and 36s. So the, the 24 pack is 10% um, off so that gives you a price of $31.99 and then the 36 pack is $45.99 and that is 14% off so it does the more you buy in the collection the more you you save on that so um I'll show you so this is what it's look of course it has to be a little bit valentine-y with um the red tag and stuff but there's four cards four colors in this um collection so I just wanted to show you so we have cherry so yes those are my kids you probably see a lot of them in pictures but I wanted to hold it up I hope you can see the texture this is cherry from our coffee collection what that means is the paper our coffee collection all the papers in our coffee collection are made from recycled jute and sisal bean bags which is really cool so what they do is they chop up those bag um, bags that the coffee beans come in and they make paper which is so fabulous can you see that texture I hope you can so there's that texture so that is um, the I know you can see the ring light that I have so that's not so dark over here but then I always get the the, the ring in the picture oh well I'm sure you can you're okay with that so the great thing about our cards is the photos slide in and out you don't need any glues or tapes or anything like that and I'll just show you real quick I'll pull it out boom just like that boom and that's great because it doesn't damage the card or the picture and our cards all fit into a five by seven frame they all hold four by six photos we do have um oh my gosh I'll have to bring it next week um graduation cards that hold that wallet photo I'll make a note to do that for next week and then um I'll get some examples and then we have a big card that holds a five by seven photo but it, and it fits into an eight by 10 frame. I try to make all our cards fit into standard size picture frames because then that way you can frame them and um, display them throughout the year. And then the recipient that get, you know, gets the cards can um, do the same. So that's really great. So, okay, again, I'm talking about the February collection. So I know I go off of track sometimes, sorry. So there's Cherry and then there's Rustic Hearts, which I love this because it's, you can use it for Valentine's Day, but you don't have to. Um, I had a fair amount of customers this year use it for Christmas card, which I thought was, hi, Donna. Oh, great. I'm so glad you received it. That came quickly. I'm happy about that. Um, thanks for letting me know. So Rustic Hearts is this one. 
And okay, we have ivory, and I'm gonna hold it up. Hopefully you can see that the texture of this. There we go. Um, so this is our ivory card, and um, most of the cards have this, I don't know if you can see it, this ruled embossed, it's actually a debossed border because embossed means it's raised, but debossed means it's um, underneath the paper. So, um, but we have that. It gives some definition to your images or photos, postcards, whatever you're putting in them. So that gives some definition. But then special in this February collection is one of our brand new colors, which is wheat. And um, it's the same texture and feel as ivory, but look at it. It has, you know, flex in it and stuff. It's not, um, it's not like the coffee. It doesn't have the same texture. It's a more smooth texture, but it does have that definition to it um, and character. So I thought that looked great. So that is the February collection available until February 28th. I know there's no leap year this year. So, and I'll just put them, I hope you can see them all. So those are the four colors. And again, they're on our website. I will pop the link um, after this live is over so that to make it easy for you, especially if you're not watching live so that you can know where to go on our website. Um, ooh, really great. Um, we updated the website just ever so slightly, but the navigation, it used to be you had to go to shop on the far left side and then it would open up a menu for you. So to make it easier for you, um, We've now have it, everything is all at the top. So you don't have to go to shop and then go to find what you want. And I hope, you know, you like that better. You find it easier to navigate if you don't, or if you do, if you have any other ideas of things that you would like to be highlighted up there, let me know. Um, it's hard because I honestly get on the website almost every day. And so when you're just so familiar with something, you forget what it's like to use it for the first time. So if you ever have any, um, suggestions on how to make things better on the website, I will not be offended. Um, as long as you're not yelling at me saying it, but as long as you're just letting me know, you know, hey, Lisa, it would be great if, I don't know, you did X, Y, or Z on the website. It would make it so much nicer for us to navigate, whatever. I would love to get that feedback because I don't know what I don't know. So if you're having trouble finding something, it would be great to know what the what the questions or the issues are so I can get that fixed. I. I I do listen to everyone's feedback. I read every email. I try to respond promptly, but sometimes I get overwhelmed with the number of emails that come in in a given day, and it takes me a few days to get back to people, and I apologize for that. Um, I, do, I do try um, to do that. Um, let's see, so that is, I talked about the February collection, the website, oh, that's so exciting, I love it. I think it looks fabulous, I'm really excited about it. Um, but if you aren't part of our weekly email, I would encourage you to sign up. I will put, put a link to that as well so that, because um, I know there's a few things coming up in the pipeline that you probably don't want to miss, a few um, offers and sales that are coming up. So those will be in the next few months over the, or I shouldn't say in, over the course of the next few months. So that's really great. And let's see, what else do I want to say? Um, I think that's everything. I hope you're doing well. Um, and you have a good Valentine's. I know Valentine's Day is this weekend, so I hope you enjoy yourself and, um, you know, find time to relax. And I think that's what I've got today. If you ever want to get in touch with me, like I said, I am here. I love talking to you. Don't hesitate to call me. I just ask that you don't yell at me. <laughs> um, we can work on whatever it is. And so the number is 877 830-3405. You, um, if I don't answer, it just means I'm on the other line. So just please leave a message or call back. Those are the two things. Um, you can email orders at PlymouthCards.com. You can always put a Facebook message. You can post on Facebook. You can direct message me through Facebook. Or you, um, what else did I say? I said email. Yeah, I think those are all the ways. So I would love to, you know, hear from you if you ever have any suggestions on the website or anything else too. Because, you know, so many of the card colors that um, I've added through the uh, years have been from customers requesting them. So and that's really great. I just, you know, I, w I would love to make what you want. So that's great. And I think that's all I've got today. So again, if you're not watching this live and you have any questions, just pop them, pop them in the comments. Or if you did watch it live and you thought of a question after, that's great too. So 
I love hearing from all of you and I hope you have a great um, rest of your Wednesday and the rest of the week and I will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching and being here. I so appreciate it. Bye.